Hello guys. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can add a little bit more emotions and more of the, of the feel into a song with strings. So as you guys can hear, it adds this dramatic feel. So today we're gonna explore that. Here we go. We're gonna today create a patch from zero and we're gonna show it to you and see what ways we can incorporate that to maybe play in spirit keys, playing on the repasser, just playing in general. And right now we're gonna be focusing on the app for Sunday Keys. We're starting off, we're gonna create what I call is always my bass. And my bass is always, what is gonna be that strings patch is gonna be going throughout the whole song. So here we're gonna go into add sounds, Sunday Keys, we're gonna go all the way to strings and orchestra, and we're gonna go to strings. A sound that I like for, for be my bass strings will be the strings assembly. We're gonna add it, boom. This sounds like this. So that one has a nice bass string, so this one, I'm gonna break it down because it's always gonna be permanent. So when I'm gonna have a sound that is gonna be there the whole time, I like to have it on a nice level. As well, I'm gonna add some maybe chorus, see what that sounds like. So I like that. Then when I have my bass pads already created, my second sound will be what is gonna be complementing that sound. Um, so if I go here and I go again, I go to Sunday Keys, I go to String Orchestra and I go to Strings, I'm gonna try this sound. We're gonna add it, I'm gonna bring this down and this is what it sounds like. So when you guys can hear, this one has a little bit more movement. And that's what I like because I want something that can complement my bass pad. So when I add my bass strings, then I bring this one a little bit down. This is what it sounds like. So now, it has a little bit more movement, and that's something that I want to achieve. Maybe I shut the chorus off, boom. Then we have these two sounds, and now they are complementary to each other. They are not battling. This one's gonna lift a little bit more down than the other one. And then, when I'm thinking about, okay, what can be another sound that can be also incorporated into this patch? And now I want something that is gonna be my movement. And this one is gonna be coming in and out depending where I wanna play. And something that I like from Sunday Keys and it's always gonna be one of my favorite sounds is the wispy violin. Um, so if you go to add sounds, we go to Sunday Keys, string air orchestra, strings, and then we go to wispy violin. This is one of my favorite sound guys. Like I play this uh, a lot of the times, a lot of the songs, just because of the reverse and um, just it's, it's something, you know, amazing. Um, and then in a little bit, we're gonna mess with the verb and stuff like that. So as you guys can see here, so boom, this is what it sounds like. A lot of more movement. Now, let's go to verb because I like to hear the sound with a lot of verb and a lot of uh, decay and release. I like to have a large verb on it. So something like this. It's a little bit more richer. So I like this one, large hall, 85%. We're gonna confirm. Then we're gonna bring this one. We're gonna go to verb. We're gonna bring this one like a 60%. Adjust the size, boom. And then we're gonna go to verb and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring maybe 50% of verb. We're gonna increase the size of it. Maybe increase a little bit more of the, like the low cut on it. Them three together sounds like this.
This is something that has that dramatic uh, sound be behind the pastor, you know, gets people in the, in the, in the, what the pastor's saying. But I will also include on top of this one, I add my, my drone pad. And so right now I, have, I am in the key of C. So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna bring it down. Then I'm gonna, you know, go to strings. Let's add some shame on it, like a 20%. So now when you have the drum pad flowing behind you, you know, you can start from bringing things in. So you can usually bring, start with strings. This is kind of like the pastor stalking, you know, he's getting close to wrap up. Then as he start increasing and you know, you kind of have to feel the pastor's beat also important. You need to be listening to what he's saying, that you can start bringing things on. to start more wrapping up then you can start adding a little bit more of the movement it's getting close to wrap up Now, a really cool feature that the Sunday Keys app on the iPad has are snapshots. And this one allows you to create uh, different presets throughout the songs. Right now I have this preset. So let's say, okay, I wanna add a piano, but I want the piano to come in in a different part. So we're gonna hear add sound. We're gonna to Sunday Keys. We're gonna go to piano, acoustic piano. I'm a big upright guy, so I'm gonna click here, upright. I dig it. So, okay, in my main snapshot, I want to maybe have just my strings, right? So let's imagine we're playing just the strings. Passage wrapping up, yada, yada, yada. So, okay, let's say I want this one to be this. So all you have to do is click save, boom that snapshot is already saved. So now let's say in my snapshot number two, I then I want the, the violin seemly to come in, but I don't want to be able to like take my hands out of my keyboard and then no, and like figure it out. No, okay, so we're gonna bring it on to the level that you want it. You're gonna go to snapshot number two and you're gonna click save, boom. So now what's gonna happen is when you click default, that string is gonna come out and it's gonna be in that preset. Now, when you press snapshot number two, boom, that string is gonna come in. So let's play, you know, you have your strings, bring the drum pad in. So now you, snapshot number two, very smooth. Now, when the pastor's wrapping up, you want more than, you know, for your snapshot number three, now I want that wispy violin to come in because now he's getting close to wrap up. So now I'm gonna bring this to this level and I'm gonna click save and that's already saved. So if we go back to snapshot number two, you will see that fade out. We're playing. Now he's wrapping up, snapshot number three. Very smooth. And now again, now he's getting close to his sermon and I want now to have that piano to come in because I want to start playing now what I'm going to play the next song. Again, snapshot number four, click save. Now that piano is going to come in. If we're going to go back to snapshot number three, here we go. He's getting close. Now I want my piano to come in.
Now let's say for some reason, I want to go back to my first. Go to my first one. I want the three strings. Come on. Smooth. And then I want my piano in. Now I'm gonna show you a couple more important and very useful tools that the Snapchat had. So let's say you, you want the Snapchats to come in in beats. All you have to do is press Snapshot and then you're gonna go to Customize, boom. So then you're gonna go to Custom. Now you can set up the Snapchat transition times between times or beats. If you want time, now you can select, you know, and pick how many seconds you want things to fade in and fade out and then you'll be ready to go. Now, if you are somebody who's gonna be on the dot, you're gonna have the beat, you can set up this. Boom, goes to beat. These bars or beats are gonna be set to whatever tempo you have this set in the app. So right now, it's 120 BPM. So say the song is in 77, you can have that set up to 77. So when you press that, it will gonna come in right at the tempo. So when you launch the click, you can press that and things are gonna come in nice and smooth. So all the sounds, literally, all the sounds that you hear came from Sunday Keys app. We're gonna have a link down below, so go and check it out. I hope this video is very helpful for you and we'll see you soon.